Hello, I'm David Romo. And I'm Ayla Benincourt, and this is Lakefront News. Thank you for joining us on our last newscast of the semester. Last Thursday, it was announced that OLU's Vice President of Academic Affairs, Helen Strupit, will leave the university at the end of the month. She will become president of the College of St. Elizabeth in New Jersey. Strupit's departure follows a series of changes in the school's administration. On March 1st, Dr. Tessa Martinez Pollock stepped down as president of the university. On March 12th, Sister Jane Ann Slater assumed the position of OLU interim president. And just two weeks ago, Slater named Dean Robert Bisking as interim executive vice president of the institution. The school announced that Dr. Bisking will assume some of the roles of vice president of academic affairs until replacement is found. Some of those roles include the supervision of the report for SACS accreditation, the revitalization of 10 academic programs, and the welcoming of two new deans into the university. For more information on the developing story, visit lakefrontessay.com. And moving on, on to other information, graduation is right around the corner and some students are already planning what to do after they cross the stage. Jesus Cortez went out to find out what they're doing. I'm going to go back home and I have three jobs lined up and hopefully one of those jobs will pay for my bachelor's program because I want to go to Loyola Marymount uh, master's program which requires five years of work experience. But after that, I just build my portfolio up with going to conferences and getting certification tests. I plan on pursuing my master's and my PhD in higher education administration and so because I want to work with students, primarily first generation students, I feel that I have a calling to work with them and I feel that because of the services that um, the lake has offered and all the mentoring and all the opportunities that I have had from the school, it's really inspired me to want to give back. Right now I mean like balancing my options because I play basketball and uh, I have offers for like three teams in Brazil to go back home and play professional basketball. And I also have an amazing uh, job opportunity in West Texas for this financial, uh, financial advisor company. And uh, right now I'm just balancing out which one is going to be the best option for, my, for me. This year has been a very eventful year. With all the changes in policy and administration, we thought you would like to take a look of what's happened this past year. Our reporter Roxana Rubio has compiled a year in review. Take a look. If you go to the registrar's office today, you won't be able to get a transcript for free. That is because of October 1st, the registrar's office is now charging $5 to request an official transcript. There's a new dining service here at the lake. I went to find out more information on it. 12 majors to be phased out. That was the message that students received last week through an announcement in e-currents. Oh, it looks like it's all smiles here at Arley the Lake after the men's soccer team captured its first Red River Athletic Conference title. Students came together at the Student Voice Assembly together as one to express their opposition against the cutting of the 12 majors. Main building exemplifies the beauty of Our Lady of the Lake University. That beauty was honored with the 2012 Preservation Honor Award in Washington, D.C. OLU will be hosting Obama's Inauguration Ceremony Poet this April as its spring visiting writer. The Alliance gathered signatures for a petition to make an addition to the non-discriminatory clause in the handbook. On Thursday, the university confirmed that Tessa Martinez Pollock will step down as president. OLU started the school year with Cel Rico, a new food service provider. Many students were happy to see this change, but this semester, some students are voicing their concerns about the food quality. SGA needs your help picking the next president at Our Lady of the Lake University. The Board of Trustees Presidential Search Committee will work closely with SGA to find a replacement for departing president Tessa Martinez Pollock. Sister Jane Ann Slater will become interim OLU president, replacing Tessa Martinez Pollock. Well, I'm anxious not only to get to know them, but to I'm going to be walking around a lot, so I'll probably get to meet a lot of the students. It starts out with one person dancing, usually for 15 seconds, and then it gets crazy. Last week, Olu unveiled the Best of the West medal, kicking off the Fiesta season. Anime lovers from all around San Antonio gathered on campus to take part in one of the biggest events that Olu has to offer, Mizumicon 6. A new ATM was added to replace the existing machine in the UAC. Ashley Guevara was elected president, Christian Ortiz Salas, vice president, Cesar Rodriguez, director of records and financing, Eric Quijada, director of civic engagement, and Elda Barajas, director of financing. 
This weekend is the Fiesta kickoff, and of course that means Oli's very own Best of the West is back on Sunday for its second year. Dr. Bob Bisking was named Oli's Executive Vice President. This is an interim appointment made by Sister Jane Ann Slater. The cutting of the 12 majors has been delayed. President Slater made the decision to postpone elimination of the 12 majors. The majors now have an opportunity to re-energize and recruit students before a final decision is made on March 31st, 2014. Lakefront News is a completely student-led newscast. That is correct. Most of us here at Lakefront News are communications majors learning how to be tomorrow's journalists. But with this learning comes a little bit of mistakes. Let's take a look at some of our not-so-shining moments. Here at Lakefront News, we strive to get it right on the first take. But when we don't, it looks a little something like this. The interview with Slater can be seen in its entirety online at lakefrontsa.com backslash Oh my god! Backslash <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> Thank you Roxana. It should be a fun event for families. I'm excited. <laughs> Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Thank you, Nita. In other news, wait, the script's moving. Manager of Design Service, Kathy Mall. <laughs> it went the opposite way. <laughs> In other news, are you looking for the... Can we start from there? I'm sorry. Before we go, we would like to invite you to like us on Facebook and pick up the latest issue of the Lakefront newspaper for more stories. On behalf of the Lakefront staff, thank you for watching. I'm Roxana Rubio. See you finals week. It looks weird. It looks really weird. I was just staring at you the whole time. <laughs> I think we should do it again. Because it looks really weird. Well, I think... It was really <laughs> creepy. Two, one. During the last men's home basketball game, the seniors shared their... What am I saying again? During the last men's home basketball game... Am I saying seniors or not? Three, two, one. To find out how you can help... Find, oh, <laughs> No. After the fire in 2008. Two, three. With early voting, okay. Sorry, I'm cursing so much. Can you see the mic or no? Can you see the mic? Well, it looks like it's all smiles here at the lake with the men's soccer team. Uh, what did they do? I don't remember. Association of Latino Professionals in Finance and Accounting has partnered the bus. The red dot means it's recording, right? Yeah. Okay. Cualquier persona puede ser víctima del robo de identidad. Acuerdo. Neira Escamilla, Lake Front News. No. Before we leave, we would like to thank everyone who helps make this newscast possible. Michael Thompson, our studio technician, Professor Nallen, our advisor, and Juan Stakes, who helped us with all our techni technical difficulties, and everyone who agreed to do an interview. Yes, and special thanks to all the support from the Marketing and Communications Department, especially Patty Constantine and Danny Oxel, who were always supportive of this newscast. This concludes our newscast for the week. Again, thank you for tuning in and supporting student-run media. I'm Ayla Bettencourt. And I'm David Romo signing off. We will see you next semester.